Thank you all for coming to the second part. Thanks for uh, uh, hanging with us while we pulled the bar out of here and got the instruments and the sound system and everything else. Uh, let's continue with uh, this show about Knoxville music, the Knoxville sound. You know, two of my favorite Knoxville singers were Carl and Pearl Butler. Does anybody remember them? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All right, there's a few. Well, they uh, were born and raised, actually Pearl was born in Nashville, but she was raised in Knoxville. Her and Carl met at the Market Hall uh, Square Dance. Now, the Market Hall was a huge building on Market Square, and they had an auditorium upstairs. They fell in love, and they would stay together for the rest of their lives and create beautiful, beautiful mountain-style harmonies and become some of the biggest... Uh, hit makers in Nashville history of the early 60s. Don't Let Me Cross Over being a, a number one, I believe it was written by a Knoxville girl, Penny J. Um, today, they're not as well remembered uh, for someone as popular, for a group or duo as popular as they were, but they were Grand Ole Opry stars and they always came back to Knoxville and uh, made strong, maintained strong ties here and uh, never lost their love for pure mountain style country music. Now to replicate that tonight, we've got the uh, lovely and charming and talented Nancy Brennan Strange. Yeah. And the lovely, and you're charming too, Steve. Yeah, he is charming uh, and talented. Hidden charm. Hidden charms. No, it's exuding out of every pore. Uh, Steve Horton and uh, Don Wood. Yeah, y'all know this guy. It's amazing. And uh, Don's father, uh, um, or Al's Don, your your dad was named Al, right? He played with Jack Kate, who's the uh, midday merry-go-round bass player for Don Gibson earlier. So it all comes full circle in the end. This trio is going to play a couple of Carl and Pearl Butler numbers. One or two written by Arthur Q. Smith himself. So I'm going to turn it over to you three and take it home. Thank you. If teardrops were pennies and heartaches were gold If teardrops were pennies and heartaches were gold I'd have all the riches my pockets would hold I'd be oh so wealthy with treasure untold If teardrops were pennies and heartaches were gold Don't let me cross over love's cheating lie. 
It was uh, it was on the chart as number one for 11 straight weeks, which was not equaled until I kind of hate to put them in the same category, but it was not equaled until um, Florida Georgia Line. Uh, you can groan if you wish. Uh, <laughs> did, uh, equaled that in, in 2011, but that's that's a long time to hold that record. <clears throat> Oh, 